I'm Morgan, a freshman bass clarinetist here at, at Anchor Bay in the Kata Cadet Band. We welcome you all to our performance. We kindly ask you to please turn off and silence all phones as not to distract the performances or the audience members around you. Also, if there is a need to exit, use the top of the auditorium to do so. For our first piece of the night is called Arch of Triumph, composed by Johnny Vincent. The Arch of Triumph was written in a French style. The stately march draws its title from the famous Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Arch of Triumph it includes terrific changes of pace in the march, unique style Sally scored with fanfare-like figures and appealing melodies. I hope you all enjoy the Arch of Triumph. Thank you. All right, good evening, everyone. Please, one more big round of applause for the Concert Cadet Band. My name is Jonathan Carruthers. I'm the director of bands here at Anchor Bay High School. I want to thank you sincerely for being, us, uh, being with us here this evening. And if you're watching on the live stream at home, thank you for uh, joining us in that way also. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with the students this semester, working on musical concepts, uh, working on some life skills, determination, and perseverance, and those types of uh, character traits as well. They've shown a lot of growth from the beginning of the year to now. I'm really excited to see what they can do for the rest of this year to follow. Uh, the next piece, we have the introduction read by... Who's that? Yes, by Alana. Please welcome Alana to the microphone. Hello, our, hello. 
Hello, my name is Lana. Our next piece was composed in 1927 by Jean Milford, a native of Canton, Ohio. Born in 1946, Mr. Milford had grown from having a Master of Arts degree in music history to being inducted into the Ohio Band Directors Hall of Fame. This piece is, a, is also a fantasy on the infamous Christmas song, We Three Kings, composed in 1857 by John Harry Hopkins, Jr. Now, we present the journey of the three wise men. This is Journey of the Magi. Please enjoy.
Hi, my name is Hal Sabraka. David Schaefner, born in 1953, truly outdone himself with this piece. Described as majestic and dignified, Tribute and Triumph is a spirited overture that is full of exciting rhythms, bold melodies, and contemporary harmonies. Made in 2000, this piece beautifully showcases his ability to create powerful, emotive music stirring the souls of listeners. Immediately following our performance, there will be a brief transition between ensembles. Please enjoy Tribute and Triumph.
All right, that will conclude the concert cadet band part of the performance. Please give them one more big round of applause. We'll have a brief transition and then uh, the symphonic band will be up on stage next. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. Well, hello everybody out there. How are you enjoying the show so far? Pretty good. You got some bright lights. All right, so if you don't know me, my name is Tom Braun. I'm the president for the Anchor Bay Band Boosters. Um, just got a couple quick announcements. I want to go through, we have an executive board. The executive board for the Band Boosters meet monthly. We're kind of doing all the work behind the scenes to make all these fun events happen. Um, so I have the VP of fundraising, which is Hans and Lori Gilbo. Are you guys in here? There they are. Um, recording secretary is Jen Cole. Is she in here? She's outside. Treasurer, Tim Vietto. Give it up for Tim. Uh, and our financial secretary is Tiffany Bacano. She's in here. There she is up top. And special events is Jill Meldrum. Somewhere. Um, now we have our meetings once a month, but three or four times a year, four times a year, we have a general meeting where all the general membership is invited. Our next meeting is gonna be January 3rd. It'll be in the band room here at seven o'clock. Uh, because of all the construction, you'll have to enter through door four and then come over to the band room. Um, we have a jazz band concert coming up, and it's going to feature the middle school jazz band, the new jazz lab, and the high school jazz ensemble, which you'll hear tonight. Um, that concert will be here at the high school on the 4th, so you can come on the 3rd for the meeting and then the 4th for the jazz concert. Um, and then on the 9th, we have another big fun, uh, fundraiser for the kids, um, it's Taste Fest. 
That is a fundraiser that we have all the local restaurants come and they set up in the commons here. And uh, all the money raised from that goes to buy new solo and ensemble and chamber music for the kids. Um, that event will be here, like I said, on the 9th from 6 to 8. Uh, tickets to get in and have dinner will be $15 per person, uh, $10 for seniors and military, and $5 for kids. Um, so the chamber ensemble event is on January 2nd, and solo ensemble is on February 3rd. And that's where we raise money for the music for those. Um, we also have coming up in March, our, we host the, the concert band festival here at Anchor Bay every year. We need a ton of parent volunteers for that event. And that'll be on March 7th, 8th, and 9th. So there will be a sign up on the website. Does everybody know what the website is? It's anchorbaybands.org. That is where you go for all your information. There's a calendar there for every single band. So if you ever want to know what time is a concert, you can go there and you can look at the calendar. You can click on marching band, if it's a marching band concert, or um, even the middle schools are on there too. Um, oh, we have our New York trip coming up this year. Um, we still have some spots available, so if you're kid, your student musician wants to go to the New York trip and the choir, so if they're in choir, they're also eligible to go. Choir in any band student, um, on any band, even just marching band, so if they're in color guard and they want to go, they can go. Um, you go to the website, you'll click on the band boosters page, and then there's a fancy New York logo in a little box. You can click on that and that'll bring you to the page where you can register for the trip. And registration is still open, so if your student wants to go, do it soon. Um, and of course, after this, after the symphonic band, we have Jazz Lab in the Commons for the Afterglow with lots of snacks and stuff that you guys brought. What? Huh? Jazz Ensemble. What did I say? Ah, Jazz Ensemble. I'm sorry. And last but not least, we have our 50/50 here. So we need someone to pull this ticket. That is not me. Who wants to pull the ticket? Mr. Carruthers should pull the winning ticket. We have a winner, maybe. All right, the winning ticket number is 401-8-7-2. Four zero one eight seven three. We have a winner. Come on down.
Hello, my name is Ash Bullman, and welcome to our symphonic band performance. We do ask that you please turn off and silence all cell phones as to not distract the performances or the people around you. Also, please use the emergency exit at the top of the auditorium if you need to exit. The composer of our first piece, John Philip Sousa, also known as the March King, was an American composer and conductor in the late Romantic era. This march of his was dedicated to the Almas Temple and the ancient Arabic order of the Nobles of the Mystic Shrine. First conducted in June 1923 with a band of 6,200 members, here is Nobles of the Mystic Shrine. How about one more big round of applause for the symphonic band? Um, 
as I mentioned during the last portion, it's been an absolute pleasure working with these students. It's been really meaningful for me on a personal note. As an alumni of the Anchor Bay Band program, it's been really special for me to return in a different role. I've performed on the stage countless times, but yesterday was the first concert directing. It's been a true treat uh, for myself personally and as well as helping to coach and mentor the students musically and the character traits as well. So it's been especially rewarding for me on a personal note. And I thank you all for supporting the students in their musical endeavors. Um, thank you again for being here in person or on the live stream. Truly appreciate your support of this event. Uh, next up, we have Emily to introduce the next piece. Please give a round of applause for Emily. Good evening, everyone. My name is Emily Bocano, and I have the honor of introducing our second piece, Choreography by Robert Sheldon. Choreography starts with an adventurous opening, transitions into an emotional style, and then returns to an upbeat mood towards the end. In this piece, our ensemble, including our multiple soloists, will showcase the dramatic expressions of Sheldon's vision, which can be heard through the flowing lines and expressive playing, similar to that of a theatrical production. Thank you. Thank you. 
Before we continue with the last piece for the symphonic band portion, I'd like to give a couple really important thank yous. Uh, the first of which is to the parents, especially our booster parents that have been involved uh, in some way of the different events and the executive board led by Mr. Tom Braun. Please give a big round of applause for all the parents. The next thank you is for our administration team here at Anchor Bay High School, led by Principal Mr. Mike McKenzie. Uh, they've been very supportive with the different events for the music program, and it's been greatly appreciated to have that support from the administrative team. Please a big round of applause for the admin team. And last but not least, a big thank you to all of the students, the ones that performed earlier today, the ones on stage, the ones who performed yesterday. They have been extremely supportive and very, very gracious in a transition. It's always tough with a transition for someone new. And they've been mature, receptive, welcoming, and really helped to keep things going for the band program. So please, a big round of applause for all the students. And now the announcer for our last piece, Sam Dahlman. Please welcome Sam to the mic. Hi, my name is Sam Dahlman, and our final piece of the night is called Celtic Carol, arranged by Robert W. Smith. Celtic Carol is a setting of traditional melody during the holiday season known as What Child Is This? Featuring the percussion se section, this particular setting draws the listener into a traditional Irish celebration. The celebration begins with a mysterious solo statement and ends with an exciting conclusion. Following our performance, please join us in the, in the comments for our afterglow.
All right, that concludes the symphonic band portion. One more big round of applause for the symphonic band. And we'll have one more transition for the jazz ensemble students to be set up in the commons, and we'll proceed with the afterglow shortly. Thank you very much.